proof or it might be some usual uh, uh, usual uh, GPS for a serial, uh, serial port or USB port, it doesn't matter. It can be uh, used, you can use either a GPS daemon available on Unix systems or um, it's just there is an uh, NVA parser, so it can use pretty anything, any any sort of GPS data. So uh, for our like enterprise use, uh, we have a spherical camera, which you can see on this image. This one it's called Ladybug. Um, and this, uh, this camera actually has uh, six cameras in it and I think it's uh, the, same, the same one as uh, Google was using at, in the first generation of their uh, mapping cars. Uh, there is um, also support for some advanced uh, GPS. As, uh, this one is some, something from Langilan. Uh, support for compass to have uh, really exact um, um, direction. Um, yeah, audio recording. There is uh, support for um, traditional web, uh, webcams, and uh, you can take some pictures uh, on your camera while uh, driving, and then import them, and they will be. Uh, text um, with their uh, from from the time. Um, so um, this is one testing drive. Um, you can at any time uh, take take the position and move it. Um, start playing. So it moves a bit. You can see the video. Actually, we had uh, three three uh, cameras on it on the roof. So this one is uh, I think back view. This one is front view. And there is one to the right side. I, I think. So you can move it, the, camera, uh, the player will see. Uh, there is also some audio, but you can't really hear it now. Um, and yeah, there are the pictures. You, uh, you can click them to see what's there. If there are more at the more or less same, um, uh, same position, there is just a placeholder. You can click it and see the one you really want. And if you zoom, actually, you can see their precise position. Oops. Um, okay, so this is uh, the player. Um, just to show you how does it work with the uh, spherical camera we, we've been trying um, I'll try to <coughs> show you like this yeah, the direction is not right but actually it's pretty amazing to see to all the di direction where are you going? Uh, and thi this kind of uh, data can can be later used to recognize the traffic uh, signs and automatically find out where are the uh, turn restrictions, uh, what are the one-way streets, and so on. But uh, that's something for future, <laughs> right? So this is it. 
Um, <coughs> and I think I might try to show you also a small piece of the Gather plugin, which is used for recording. Yeah, and I uh, can add uh, all these tracks which are recorded. These are uh, GPX files, so you can actually quite easily, once loaded, you can save them as a shape file or, and work with them in any way, like uh, join them into your map or anything. So, I will open the data gather plugin. <coughs> um, this one is uh, used for data collection. You can set your uh, working directory, that's not important. And here are the plugins uh, which uh, can be used as uh, data sources. You can also select what will be the source of GPS data. You can see it's either serial device or this is uh, some emulation I use from a file or GPS dyno, uh, demo and some advanced settings if you like, like digital compass or some custom GPS initialization. Um, you can see um, the, the row is moving, um, it's possible to see state of satellites and some more info. Um, you can set whether you want to record audio uh, with some indicator, how does it work. You can try to use uh, the camera. Um, this is the list of available cameras. This one is from my uh, camera embedded in my uh, notebook. So if I edit the used devices and I um, check the video preview, you can see me maybe down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so that's for video. Um, when recording, so I can start recording, it will uh, draw the line as it, as it, as it goes. I think now uh, there is some stop in the data. Um, you can mark the position uh, because of some event you would like to recognize later during the replay. Um, and you can actually add there some notes like um, come, come back later at this position or something. Uh, yeah, and that's, that's more or less the plugin. You can stop the recording um, and at some other time start again and so on. Um, and the data recorded by this gather plugin can be replayed then in the other one. Um, so this is basically uh, the part with um, the uh, part with the gather and play plugins. I have some pictures here. Like, does it look in our implementation? There is some construction. Um, so the camera is in uh, in some good. Um, altitudes to see um, more than just backs and fronts of other cars. Um, in this suitcase there is a GPS and compass. And there are some details, but I don't know if you're <laughs> interested. There's a, a touch screen in the car, so um, the the operator can relatively easily see uh, what's going on there um, and maybe do some notes.